Uh, probably about two months after. First couple of months, I didn't really know like what to do, just trying to figure everything out. And then after two months, I realized that I needed I needed to come back. Who helped you through it the most? Uh, definitely my parents and some close friends. Any coaches? Anybody here? Uh, Coach Chibwell always just kept me on the list of text, you know, to for certain things like, hey, like good work, you know. I was just always on the text, mm -hmm. and every once in a while he would text me, just mm -hmm. keep my head up, and it did. It worked. Did you have to go to like a junior college, or what did you have to do to? Kind of uh, no, I just went over to UVU and just be, uh, had to like meet all the requirements to stay eligible, uh -huh. different classes and stuff. So you were basically a UVU student. For yeah, I was just a UVU student, normal student. Uh -huh. What was the conversation like when you called Bronco and said, hey, I've done what you asked me to do and I'd like to come back? Well, I mean, it started, uh, I didn't know the whole process yet, and so I was talking to some people and they said, you know, you, you need to get a recommendation. So I texted Bronco and I was like, well, I did a couple other things, but then I was like, Bronco, I did these things. I, I was wondering if you could write me a recommendation. And he's like, okay, well, you still have a lot to do. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Um, and then it took about another three months of doing all sorts of things, and then finally called me into his office, talked to me, uh, finished up a couple letters I had to write, and then he talked to me again, and you know he said that he feels I'm ready. What was the single most difficult thing you had to do? Probably you know getting cleared up church-wise, talking to the bishop and everything, and then um, I had to write a lot of letters to a lot of people, apologizing and stuff. Was that your bishop back in California where you grew uh, up? No, or? just who, out here. In Orem? Yeah, So you Provo. You, stay, you didn't, like, move home or anything? No, I stayed out here. Stayed in the area? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I was going through some injuries and stuff, too, so they let me get treatment and do all that stuff while, while I was gone or whatever I was allowed to do. Mm -hmm. So they still took care of you as far as, as kind of their obligation to... To make you whole again. So yeah, well, yeah, they just, you know, said, gave me places I could go and just helped me out as much as, much as they were allowed to. Mm -hmm. How big of a thrill is it for you now to be a, the starting linebacker your senior year? Oh, it's great. It's, it feels amazing to be back. Absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. As far as your future now, are you looking towards playing professionally if you can, or what's your. If the, if the, if the opportunity brings itself, I mean, I still have a lot of dings and stuff going on right now that. I need to fix up after the season, see how that all goes. But yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. What do you What are you majoring in? Exercise science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what What will that take you to? Uh, maybe PT school if I could get my grades up a little bit. Physical therapist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's still a grind for you. Grades? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's still a grind. I mean, it's never been too bad of a grind. I've always like got the B's, C's, you know, a few A's, but uh -huh. it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Looking back when you had the famous press conference with Jake Heaps, <laughs> Ross. Does it kind of amaze you that of the three guys there that you're the one that is still here and contributing? Uh, yeah. I know Ross is here, but, you know, contributing, and is that kind of, do you ever look back on, on that? And, I've never know? even, yeah, I've never thought about that, but, yeah, it's pretty crazy that Jake's gone. Well, Ross is still here working, working uh -huh. hard. He's fought through some tough situations too, but hopefully he can contribute soon too. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. All I got. I was just going to ask about the the safety. What did you see there? What was the you know? Just, what was your thoughts <laughs> of that? It was just one yard line, and they called me on a blitz, and I just went in there. I had nothing really. Just saw him and just like jumped on him. Didn't try to like hit him in the thighs and him fall forward. I just made sure he he was down in the end zone. When you, it looked like you came through pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Isn't is that the you know is that a linebacker? That's got to be one of the linebackers' dream. Oh in yeah. In the end zone, just a clean <laughs> shot. Just. Oh yeah, that was a, that was, I mean. Perfect. To start a game, you know, to get the first points of a game like that, with as good as your, you know, the offense has been and everything, uh -huh. get, that gets you some bragging rights. Hey, you, know, you were the first one to score in, uh, <laughs> yeah, against Houston. No, we do always talk about though, um, if we score on defense, you know, we usually win the game. So after that, we're like, well, we scored on defense, though, you know, so we better we better win. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I asked the other player, but what about you? What is it going to take to have an undefeated season? Uh, really, it's just going to take everybody doing their job and beating the guy across from them each and every play. Just take it play by play. Take every week, week by week. It's a you know, one-game season, we like to say. Um, every new game is a new challenge, and we've got to come out every single day just practicing like that. Okay. What are you going to commit to or do personally to make, make that happen? I'm just going to keep doing, trying to do what I do, and just you know, play physical, play hard. And just be out there, just fighting, grinding with them, just like it's a new game every day. Yeah, do you think a national championship is in the works? <laughs> I mean, I haven't even thought about that really. I'm just, maybe though. 
hopefully. What have you seen from the Virginia offense? I mean, they have some good athletes. Um, we're going to need to stay assignment sound. We're going to have to stop the run. Help to have some extra rest this week? Yeah, feels way better than last week. <laughs>